Have you ever wondered what kind of knowledge could save your life one day? Picture this, you're caught in a rip current or perhaps you witness someone choking at a restaurant. Maybe you come across an unconscious person or you're the first to respond to a car accident. In these moments, the right knowledge can be the difference between life and death. So, isn't it worth knowing what to do? Let's dive into 10 facts that could potentially save your life. Remember the rule of three, three minutes without air, three days without water, three weeks without food. This simple rule can help you prioritize your needs in any survival situation. Let's break this down. Without air, the brain starts to suffer irreversible damage in just around three minutes. That's why ensuring a clear airway is the first thing to consider in any emergency. Next is water. Your body is about 60% water and it needs to stay that way. Without water, we can only survive for about three days. Dehydration can lead to severe health problems, including kidney failure and even death. Lastly, food. While it's important, it's not as critical as air or water. The human body can survive for about three weeks without food, thanks to our ability to store energy in the form of fat and muscle tissue. So if you ever find yourself in a survival situation, remember the rule of three. If your clothes catch fire, stop, drop and roll. It sounds like a simple rhyme, but the importance of these actions in a fiery situation can't be overstated. When your clothes catch fire, your first instinct might be to run, but that could make things worse. Running feeds the fire with more oxygen, causing it to spread faster. Instead, the best course of action is to stop immediately. Next, drop to the ground. This action limits the fire's exposure to oxygen, slowing its growth. And here, the ground isn't merely a stage, it's an ally. The final part of this life-saving trio is to roll. Rolling smothers the fire, helping to put it out. Imagine you're a rolling pin and the fire is the dough. Your goal is to flatten it, to extinguish it. So when confronted with flaming fabric, don't let panic lead you astray. Use the power of three simple actions and remember to stop, drop and roll if your clothes catch on fire. If someone is choking, apply the Heimlich maneuver. Now, that's a statement that can save a life. The Heimlich Maneuver is a first aid procedure used to treat upper airway obstructions by foreign objects. Here's how to do it. Stand behind the person who's choking, place your arms around their waist and bend them slightly forward. Make a fist with one hand and place it slightly above the person's navel. Grab the fist with your other hand and press hard into the abdomen with a quick upward thrust. Repeat until the object the person is choking on is expelled from their airway. This procedure is incredibly important as it can be the difference between life and death in a choking incident. It's a simple yet effective method to clear the airway, allowing the person to breathe again. Therefore, learning the Heimlich maneuver can come in handy in an emergency. It's a vital skill that everyone should know. If someone is unconscious but breathing, put them in the recovery position. This is a vital piece of knowledge that can save a life. But what exactly is the recovery position? Well, it's a specific posture designed to keep an unconscious person's airway clear, allowing them to breathe freely. It also prevents the risk of choking on vomit or saliva, which can happen if someone is left lying on their back. The recovery position involves laying the person on their side, slightly tilted forward, with their bottom arm and top leg positioned to prevent them from rolling onto their stomach. It's important to note, however, that the recovery position should only be used if you're certain the person has not sustained a neck, back or hip injury. In such cases, moving them could cause even more harm. So remember, if they're unconscious but breathing and there's no risk of a spinal injury, the recovery position could be a lifesaver in certain situations. CPR can double or even triple a person's chance of survival after a cardiac arrest. These aren't just numbers, they are lives and quite possibly they could be the lives of our loved ones. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation, or CPR, is a simple procedure that can help maintain blood flow to the brain and heart in an emergency situation. It's a skill that you may never need, but if the occasion arises, it's a skill you'll be so thankful to have. The process involves chest compressions and rescue breaths, which work together to help keep a person alive until the emergency services arrive. It's like being a human life support machine, now imagine the power of that knowledge, the power to potentially save a life. It's a skill that takes a mere few hours to learn, but the impact of those few hours can last a lifetime. 
so knowing how to perform CPR could save a life. It's an investment worth making, don't you think? Recognising the signs of a stroke early can be a lifesaver. A stroke happens when the blood supply to a part of your brain is cut off. Without blood, brain cells can be damaged or die. This damage can have different effects, depending on where it happens in your brain. There are three major signs of a stroke that you should be aware of. The first is sudden numbness or weakness, especially on one side of the body. The second is sudden confusion, trouble speaking, or difficulty understanding speech. The third is sudden trouble seeing in one or both eyes. If you or someone else shows any of these signs, it's important to act fast. Face drooping, arm weakness, speech difficulty, time to call emergency services, don't wait, don't hesitate, every second counts. Therefore, recognising the signs of a stroke can save precious time and potentially a life. If caught in a rip current, don't swim against it. Swim parallel to the shore. Now this might sound counterintuitive, but let's delve a bit deeper. Rip currents are powerful, channeled currents of water that flow away from the shore. They're like aquatic treadmills, unstoppable, and can pull even the strongest swimmers out to sea. I know it's frightening, but there's a way to escape if you ever find yourself caught in one. The first rule, don't fight the current. It's a battle you won't win. Instead of swimming against it, swim parallel to the shoreline. This will take you out of the narrow current, and then you can swim back to shore at an angle. Remember, panic is your greatest enemy. Stay calm, conserve your energy, and signal for help if you can. Knowledge is power, especially when you're in over your head, literally. So, knowing how to handle a rip current can make the difference between life and death. Wearing a seatbelt reduces the risk of fatal injury by 45%. That's right, folks. It's not just a strap of fabric. It's a lifeline. Seatbelts are designed to protect you, to keep you secure when the unexpected happens. Picture the high-speed forces involved in a collision. Now imagine being thrown against those forces without anything to hold you back. That's what happens when you don't wear a seatbelt. You might think you're just popping around the corner or that you're a safe driver and don't need one. But the truth is accidents can happen anytime, anywhere, and they often involve other drivers, things you can't control. Wearing a seatbelt isn't just a legal requirement, it's a simple act that could save your life. It's the difference between walking away from a collision or not walking away at all. It's not worth the risk, not for you, not for your loved ones. So, always remember to buckle up. Worldwide, the emergency services number is often 112. This number is a lifeline, a beacon in times of crisis. It connects you to help when you need it most, be it for a medical emergency, a fire, or a crime. No matter where you are, knowing your local emergency number is paramount. It's not just a number, it's a potential lifesaver. So memorize your local emergency number, it could be a lifesaver. Knowledge is power, especially when it comes to saving a life. From understanding the rule of three in survival situations to knowing how to stop, drop and roll in case of a fire. Each piece of wisdom we've shared today could be the difference between life and death. The Heimlich maneuver, the recovery position, the importance of CPR. These aren't just facts, they're tools in your toolbox of survival. Recognizing the signs of a stroke, understanding the danger of rip currents, appreciating the power of seatbelts and knowing your local life-saving number, each one of these facts is a key to unlocking a safer future. So what's the message here? Quite simply, never stop learning. Absorb information like a sponge because you never know when you might need to use it. Equip yourself with the power of knowledge, not just for your own protection, but for the protection of those around you. Remember, your knowledge can save a life, so keep learning and stay safe.